This is going to be a quick video on the exact steps to start page numbering on the third page of a document at number one using a section break to make that happen. Um, hi, by the way, hi, I'm Laura with Law of Solution. Thanks for watching. Okay, so I have a situation here. I'm going to drop the zoom down on this document where I have, I'm writing a book and I've got a title page then I have a bunch of copyright information on the next page and then here's where I want my actual chapter one of the book to start and I just don't want any page numbering period on these pages but here obviously I want page number to go from here throughout my book so in Microsoft Word when you put page numbering in the header or footer is going to be there for the entire document unless you break it into sections so what I need to do here is come down to where I want the page numbering to begin and put that in a new section. I'm going to turn show height on, which is on the home ribbon, so you can kind of see what I've done here. I've got some hard returns, page breaks, or control enter. I'm going to delete this page break out and I'm going to replace it with a section break. So, right with my cursor right here, I'm going to go to layout, breaks next page section break and what that does is it just it's like a page break it pushes everything from that point on to the next page but it also starts a new section so now let me get in here I'm just gonna get into my footer by double clicking and notice I'm getting out to the left where I have this little arrow pointing in and I can just double click now I'm in the footer and let me get rid of this. You can see this is section one, footer for section one. And now I'm just gonna go forward. I have the design ribbon for header and footers up. I'm gonna say next to take me to the next footer. Here's section two. Now, same as previous is turned on. I don't want that turned on because the previous section, I don't want it to have page numbers, but I do want this one too. So up here on my header footer design ribbon, I will clear the link to previous. Now you see it no longer says that. And now I will go over here where I have page numbers and I'm gonna go current position, plain page number. I could choose bottom of page, um, but if I have any other text that I want in my footer, that will wipe it out. So what I do instead is just get uh, my footer right, I'm sorry, get my cursor right where I want the page number to appear, and then just do page number, current position, plain number, there's my page numbering. Now, this is starting at three, because the way this document was set up was that uh, the first page is page one, the second page is page two, and now we're on page three. So, but I want it to be one. So for this section of the document, go back to page numbering and I'm gonna say format page numbers. And in here I can choose what I want it to look like. I'm happy with it. Continue from previous section. No, I don't want the page number to continue. I wanna start over at one. Now I'll say okay. And now this section starts at one, and there is no page numbering in the previous section because I just didn't put a page number in there. If there had been one in there and I didn't want it, let's say there was a page number in here. As long as I have, let me get back down here to section two, as long as that link to previous is not turned on, I could just go in here and delete it and it wouldn't, it would just affect this section. So it's that simple. Now I'm going to discuss really quick while we're here, <laughs> different first page because sometimes this will be turned on in a document even though you didn't choose to turn it on and if you don't understand what's going on it will make this really confusing. Uh, if I had different first page turned on, I'll just undo a bunch of times to get back to before. I did that next page section break. Undo. I'm pressing Control Z on the Control Z on the keyboard. Okay. If I had had a different first page turned on already in this document, what that means is the very first page has its own footer and header. Whatever I have typed in there only shows up on the very first page of the document. It doesn't show up on any other pages. 
So if that was the case, when I came here and I went to layout, breaks, next page under section breaks, the next section right here, the section breaks split this document into two, into two pieces. The next section would also have different first page turned on. See the check mark up here when I'm in section two and the text magically appears. So that could cause confusion because at this point I just want the page number on every single page. I don't want the first page footer to be different. So if right now I'm in section two, I could just turn different first page off, turn off that same as previous also for the regular. This is called the primary footer, every page except the first. And then put my page numbering in, get that looking however I want it. Let me zoom in on that for you. Format page numbering lets me say I want it to start at one or whatever I want, and I want it to look like whatever I want it to look like. So watch the different first page means that the very first page can have a different header and a different footer than every other page in that section of the document. Your document is just one section when you start it usually, unless you're working off a template um, that has multiple sections in it already. So you want to just think, do I or don't I want the very first page header and footer to be different in this document section? And then show, um, I'm sorry, link to previous means whatever text I put here, if this is turned on, see my stuff disappeared, I'm in footer section two. If I type some text here, let me zoom out. Because link to previous, same as previous is on, it put that same text in the previous section. If I can get back there, previous. And if I take that text out here, out of the footer, it takes it out of the footer on the next page. Go back to previous. Now here, if I didn't want this first page footer, I'd probably delete the text just for good measure. But if I didn't want that here, I would just turn it off here as well. So this is for the section that you're in, either it's on or off. And same with link to previous. The very first section doesn't have anything previous to it, so you cannot turn that on or off. But the next section does. And if it's on, like it is now, anything you put here will appear in the previous section and vice versa. But if you turn that off, then you can do whatever you want in this footer and it won't affect the previous section. There you go. Hope that helps.